What's up guys? They're not real glasses, but they're super awesome, aren't they? They're like pixels. I wanted to show you what I got from E3 and just talk a little bit about my experience. There's still a lot of footage that I haven't finished editing. I have to do, there's a lot of videos that I have to catch up on um, for my channel that uh, aren't really related to E3. Uh, I kind of want to get the E3 stuff out first though because I already have it and it's more recent and Charlie's laying down on my stuff. Hell nah. I thought there was going to be a lot of swag at E3, you know, like booths giving out stuff, and they really weren't. Um, I was kind of surprised. I was like, man, you stingy bastards. These are the things that I got. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I didn't get the Witcher, the, I didn't, this is my copy, but I got a bunch of signatures from the CD Projekt Red team, which I, I was so happy. And the funny story about this, I had my, my interview with CD Projekt Red on the last day of uh, E3, which was Thursday. I think I did five interviews at E3 total. And they all went fine, but this one, dude, I was so nervous. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, and I think, I think it was because I love CD Projekt Red so much and I'm such a big fan. And the cool thing was that when I went to meet them, they were like, Oh my god, you're Gamer in B83! They knew who I was! And I had, I remember telling you guys that, that they said that they, there were, they had fans at CD Projekt Red through email. They had told me through email. But when I went there, <laughs> they were like so happy to meet me. And they were like, Oh my god, can I get a picture? <laughs> I was like... It was so surreal for me and so amazing because I was like, oh my god. <laughs> one, of, one of the ladies that I think she worked for marketing or something like that for CD Projekt Red, she was like, oh my god, you're that crazy girl that does the crazy videos. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. No. <laughs> they were so nice. That was so amazing. This happened on Wednesday. This was the second day of E3 and I went for my presentation that day and it was like really late already. It was like at 6 o'clock. Yeah, all of us were so tired, dude. We just walked in there and we were like, uh, we were just happy to sit down. On Sunday, when I went to pick up my badge, uh, this was before E3 started, right? Before the press conference, which was on Monday. I went on Sunday and I actually saw Miyamoto. I was crossing to go to the parking structure and he was crossing with this huge team uh, crossing to go to E3 and I was just like, I turned around and I was like, I kind of like did a double take and I was like, oh my God. And I told my brother, I was like, dude, it's Miyamoto. And he had this really cool um, uh, like a uh, bag, like shoulder bag and it was like, bright red and it was just so cool. I was like, wow. I saw him again on on Tuesday for the Nintendo showcase and that was really fun. I'm so glad that I was able to get into that showcase and that was all thanks to um, Video Games Blogger. E3 is huge. It's, it's not as big as like Comic Con or something like that. You do get the hang of where things are pretty fast, but it's, it's big because there's just I don't know it just I, I I've never I'm not very used to being around a lot of people so I was just like oh my god I was kind of over overwhelmed be of like with so many people there and and you could barely walk like you're especially Tuesday Tuesday was really packed like I said not like other conventions of course like Comic Con my brother was saying Comic Con you can't even walk like it's literally shoulder to shoulder um, but this was like there were really big crowds, but only like only like gathered around specific areas So like whenever you were passing the Microsoft booth, it was really hard to walk through there the Sony booth uh, Ubisoft um, You know the big ones every day. I'd get home so tired. Oh my god, like really exhausted and those because you're just on your feet constantly you're just walking constantly and not just walking but running to places because you're just like oh my god I got an appointment here and I gotta go over there and I have to do this and I have to do that and then you can't just come right home and lay down you have to go through traffic to get home and, and there's so much tra traffic in LA on Tuesday 
it took us maybe like two hours to get home when it should have taken us like 45 minutes. So it, it's just so hard afterwards, but um, it was so worth it. I met a lot of really cool people. Uh, I have some pictures. I didn't get pictures of everyone. I would have loved to. I met Toby Turner, which was really cool. I saw him playing Assassin's Creed and I was like, oh my god, that's Toby Turner. He's super nice. He's so nice. I saw the YouTuber Joey Graceffa. I don't know if you guys have, know who he is, but he does a few uh, gaming videos, but he's more of a vlogger. I met someone else too that was really funny, but when I was gonna go get the signatures of this, it was on my day, the day that I was gonna have my interview on Thursday, the last day. And I go get my interview, but I'm like super nervous. And I felt like I forgot. I had this uh, list of questions that I was gonna ask. And I completely forgot all of them. Like, I was like, oh my God, I just blanked. I felt so mad at myself afterwards. I was like, oh my God, I was pissed. Cause I felt like it hadn't gone well. Like he did great, but I felt like I I was giving off way too much nervousness on the video, and and then I forgot all these questions, and I was just like, dude. And I just wanted to go home after that. I was like, man, I'm done. It was already like maybe like 3:30 in the afternoon, and that was the last day, and it would end at five anyways. Yeah, I was so disappointed in myself, but. It turned out really good, like a lot of you really liked it and after editing and all that, I cut out some stuff, but I kept his, uh, his interview all in there, but I did cut a lot of my, my sections where I would like stop and you could see me trying to remember something or trying to think of something, but it worked out, I think with the, the editing. Um, I'm, I'm really happy with that video. He was giving so much information. He saved it. He seriously saved that interview. In that moment, I was really disappointed in myself. You know, when you, when you, when you just don't feel like you did how as good as you thought you were gonna do, or like what you expected from yourself. That's how I felt. My brother kept on telling me it was fine. But yeah, when I finally edited it, I felt better um, from. Uh, uh, I felt better about it. I we, we walked around a little bit and then I was just like, let's just go home. Let's try to beat traffic. So we leave and when we get into the car, I, I open my backpack to take out like some snacks or something because I was pretty hungry and I see this in there and I was like, oh my god. Because I had put this in there to get it signed and I completely forgot and I was about to start sobbing. I, I seriously, I was like, <gasps> and my brother was like, what? I forgot to get it signed. And I was like, forget it, dude. I was like, whatever. And he looks at me and he's like, go. And I was like, no, we're already here. And no, forget it. He's like, just go and I'll wait for you here. And I stood, I sat there thinking and I was like, I'm not going to get another opportunity. They, they don't even, they live in Poland and there's no way. So I was like, screw it so I just run out I was like all right I'll be right back and I run <laughs> back into uh, the convention center I run upstairs to their booth and I'm like all out of breath and I tell one of the ladies there I was like I forgot to get the sign could I get the sign and she's like yeah and she was like super happy and super nice and she got like the attention of everyone there and she's like oh could you sign this she wants to sign and who knows what and everyone was so nice they were like oh we're not used to giving autographs this is so cool i was like really i was like man people are stupid then <laughs> got um the autograph of the ceo i saw him standing and i was like dude i've seen him in videos and i was like i asked the lady i was like what about him she's like oh that's the ceo i was like oh wow while i'm waiting for one of them to, to sign this i'm just standing there and then i hear someone run in and they're they're like they're like, oh man, that was, uh, that's, uh, can I just sit down right here? And the, and I hear someone plop down on one of the couches and I turn around and it's Angry Joe. <laughs> I had gone into E3 really wanting to meet Angry Joe. I love his videos. I love his reviews. I was like, man, I, if I would get to meet Angry Joe, that'd be so awesome. But I was like, oh, well, I didn't get to see him, right? But right in the last minute, he runs in there and he just plops down on the couch. And I'm like, and I was like, dude, I gotta say hi. He looked really tired, really just like stressed out. 
So I was like, hi, I'm a big fan. And I shook his hand and he's like, oh, hi. I was like, did you see the presentation that they did, the CD Projekt, right? And he was like, he's like, yeah, it looks really cool. And I was like, yeah, man, that looks awesome. And then he just, he was like, you know, like, he was like, okay, yeah. And he starts talking to someone else. And I was like, and, and I took out my camera, but I put it back. I was like, nah, I'm not gonna get in his face. He just looked like he was tired and he just looked like he was done. And, yeah, so I just left, but I was happy to have met Angry Joe at least. At least I know that I met him and I remember that and I just I just find that hilarious the way that it happened. Yeah, some other stuff that I got. They gave us the Edge magazine, the recent one with The Witcher. Some stickers. This little fact sh fact sheet, which which I thought was really cool. It's not even a sheet, it's like the multiple sheets. I, I kind of went over everything and um, in my video anyway, so I tried to do, uh, add everything that was in here. And the shirt! After we saw the presentation, um, they were like, take a shirt! But I guess because, um, we were the last one, the last presentation that day, there were only extra, extra large shirts there, and I was like, uh, <laughs> and there was no way that I wasn't gonna get one, but yeah, I look like I shrunk in the shirt because it's so huge. It's really long, and but you know I still wear it. And I like to sleep and stuff like that. But yeah, I love it. Um, I wish it had been smaller, but whatever. I was like, oh well. Uh, it just says the Witcher, the Witcher Wild Hunt in the back. This is probably the best swag at E3. The stuff that I got at the CD Projekt Red booth. And then I got this little dragon. Um, it's from Natsume. It's from their new game. Shh called hometown story it's like the um it's similar to harvest moon but a little bit different i got a uh i got a interview uh regarding this this game um so i will be putting that up soon and that's pretty much why we got these little guys i got one and my brother got one i saw them all there and i was like how do we get one of those and they just gave them to us and i was like ah I got this little digital handshake thingy majiggy. I got this little thing. I don't even know what the hell it is. It's just afterglow. I was like, alright, I'll take it. <laughs> I was just taking whatever. Pretty much the swag that they had were these little thingies, the little badge thingies. I got the PlayStation one, Bethesda, the Bethesda, Castle of Illusion, the Mickey one, the Mickey game, and then my Nintendo one. This was the one that, that they gave us like on the get-go with the, with your badge. And then I got these little awesome pins from the Bethesda uh, from the Bethesda booth, the, the uh, Elder Scrolls Online thing, um, Wolfenstein. This was from CD Projekt Red. Play your own. The Evil Within. I think this is from Bethesda too. And I got this big old bag from uh, World of Tanks. It's a pretty big bag, pretty nice. It helped a lot like, for carrying a bunch of stuff. It's ginormous and it smells, ugh, it smells nasty. It smells like petroleum or something. But yeah, that's pretty much all my swag. I got a lot of footage, but a lot of it's gonna be on Video Games Blogger because that I went because of Video Games Blogger. Um, so a lot of it's going to be exclusive to that. I put up my Nintendo showcase on Video Games Blogger already and my Microsoft booth tour. It's, it wasn't an official tour, like it wasn't like someone gave me a tour of the booth. That, that was impossible. Um, you had to like reserve for that like months in advance. So I, mine was a kind of like an impromptu type of thing where I gave the booth tour. I did a small Sony booth tour. Myself also again because there was no way I tried like three times to talk to someone from Sony I wanted to talk to someone about Beyond Two Souls I wanted to talk to someone about The Order, the PS4 But pff, it was it was so hard Even on the last day where there's less people Not e even then they, they still had like waiting list upon waiting list And it was like oh my god but I expected that, especially from Sony and especially from Microsoft uh, with the new consoles. I really wanted to play the new consoles, but we stood in line for Beyond Two Souls for a little bit, and that was like, it took, it was, I was like, man, this is gonna take a long time. But that wasn't even the PS4, that was the PlayStation 3 anyway, so. Out of all of the E3, I think I was most impressed by Nintendo. They have a great lineup of games, 
and they really held their ground. Nintendo is kind of like a nostalgic type of thing for me where I always support Nintendo just because I grew up with them. So I felt really proud for them because they did really good. Especially with the new consoles. I mean, it, you would have thought that Microsoft and, the, and Sony, especially Sony, would have dominated E3. Like, I, I, I was like, Nintendo doesn't even have a chance. But they did! I was hearing a lot of people saying that their favorite booth was Nintendo. And I, I had so much fun at the Nintendo booth. I got an official booth tour, which I still haven't put up the footage of yet. But my, we had so much fun there. <laughs> we played some of the funnest games, and we played a few games. But my favorite, the one, one game stood out more than any of them. And it was a Nintendo game. And it was hilarious. I can't wait to talk about it. We played that game, no joke, literally, for an hour. <laughs> and you would never guess by just looking, by just passing by the game, you would never guess that that was probably the best game of E3. Like, <laughs> the best game demo that they had there. <laughs> that game was so funny. Every other booth was really cool. Like, the Bethesda bo uh, booth looked really cool. But there was no way that you could get in just... Y you, you could pretty much just be walking the, the outer side, the rim of the booth. That's pretty much it. But if you didn't have, like, a, like some kind of appointment or some kind of, like, a, you know, if you hadn't... Uh, reserved a spot with, Beth with with Bethesda beforehand, there was no way that you could even go inside the booth. Like, th there was this like really cool area up on top, and I was like, man, I want to go up up there, but only people that had like reserved uh, spots could go there. So I was like, oh. so you were pretty much just left with the outside of the Bethesda gr uh, booth. So. I was like, man, I mean, the Bethesda booth looked really, really cool, but like I said, I have a lot of videos uh, coming up soon, and I also got uh, an E3 tour, which uh, some of you were asking for, so I got that for you guys. Um, I just walk around E3 and telling you, this is a so-and-so booth, and blah, 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 and I get a little bit of what is in the booth and all that. I will be doing more heavy rain, most likely after my E3 stuff, because I have to actually record. I already had the Ellen Wake video recorded. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Charlie, say hi. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.